Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with another Transformers review. And I'm going to take a look at the last Generations figure in the case that I bought. And it is none other than Thundercracker. Woo! Uh, which is very cool, very nice, uh, very odd. It took a while for this to come out, but I'm pretty sure this guy was an exclusive uh, convention figure. Uh, because Starscream was released twice on the Generations line. Um, he, uh, the first one that I've got is kind of a silvery gray color, and then they re-released him in the white colors that I never picked up. Uh, but uh, it's supposed to be more G1 accurate. But, and then Skywarp was in the two-pack with Ultra Magnus, uh, which was a repaint of Optimus, uh, for was a Target exclusive. And then I'm pretty sure he was a con exclusive. I want to say that uh, he was either a bot con, but I don't think it was bot con. I want to say it was like TF con or something. Uh, one of the other uh, Transformers conventions. But I might be wrong. If, if you know, if you remember, uh, leave a message. Let me know. Uh, I can't recall off the top of my head. So, yeah, here he is. Thundercracker. Um the last of my G1, and the last of my Seeker set. So I have all the original G1 Seekers now, which I'll do a video on that at some point. And I'm, I need to do a video on some of the other Seekers that I have that I haven't reviewed. Um, but yeah, here he is. Top of the box. We've got Transformers Generations, the typical box art. Uh, we've got Thundercracker artwork, which is very much in the flavor of the figure itself. It just looks like the artist looked at the figure and drew him, uh, but it looks all right. It's fine. And then at the bottom, we've got Thundercracker. He's a Decepticon. We've got the cool um, 3D bubble piece there. I really dig that. We've got the kind of circuit thing going on on the bubble art. Decepticon logo there, deluxe class. And then of course we have the always cool. I wish they would still put this in the packaging in the bubble. Decepticon logo, very awesome, very nice. And of course, you can get Wheeljack, woohoo! Here's the back of the package, this is what it looks like. Standard shot of robot and vehicle mode. Here he is in robot mode. There he is in vehicle mode, uh, which is a jet. Here are his stats, we will go over that. And then here is his bio, if you want to pause and read that, you can do so. But I'm going to go over it here in a second. So, stats. Strength of a 9. Seems kind of high. Intelligence of a 4. Seems kind of low. Uh, speed of a 9. Accurate. Endurance, 5. Accurate. Rank, 5. Accurate. Courage, 7. Sure, I'll give it that. Uh, Fire Blast, 9. Seems a bit high. And his skill is a 6. Pretty accurate. Kind of a mixed bag of nuts for this guy. I, he's some of, the, some of those stats are off, I think, and some of them are very on point. Um... Let's see here. What else? Oh, the bio. <sighs> Not digging the bio so much. Um, it says, back on Cybertron, Thundercracker was a master of using the sound to his advantage. His fear-inducing sonic booms were tuned perfectly to the composition of the atmosphere. Sonic vibrations from his attacks could be felt thousands of miles away, generating panic in those nearby and deep unease even in the um, other side of the planet. Lame. Uh, yes, he needs to use the sonic boom um, to scare people and everything, but really, on the other side of the planet, I don't effing think so. Uh, so that's pretty lame. The other thing is, Thundercracker was always that Decepticon that he's honorable. He reminds me of Dinobot. He is honorable. He doesn't. He's not necessarily evil. Uh, he is fighting because he's he thinks the Decepticon cause is the most viable cause. He's that almost undecided voter, but I'm leaning towards this faction. That's Thundercracker. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Dinobot in that, in that way. I think Dinobot's a little more dynamic, and Thundercracker is a bit more bland with it. But I would say if, if you looked at... Um, the Autobots and Decepticons as political factions. He is a moderate leaning towards Decepticon. And they totally ignore that and talk about his sonic booms, which are completely unbelievable. So that's, that's disappointing there. But anyway, let's take a look at this guy out of the package in vehicle mode 
and in robot mode. All right, so here is Thundercracker in his jet mode, and I gotta say, he looks damn awesome. Uh, you know, he was not my favorite of the paint schemes of the Seekers. I liked uh, Thunder, or not Thundercracker, um, Skywarp the best, I think, out of all the paint schemes. I th that black and purple just looks so awesome. Uh, Starscream was my favorite Seeker, obviously, um, but he definitely looks really, really good. Uh, he's a good back soldier, and this paint scheme is awesome. This is probably one of the better of the paint schemes I've seen on the Seekers. Um, definitely one of my more favorites. The blue is gorgeous. It's got this nice little sheen to it. The silver is so bright, it pops out. We get that nice yellow uh, cockpit. We get the rubber black nose cone. The pinstripes, the red and silver, look amazing, especially on the back wing. That almost looks like an actual airline uh, uh, wing, which is really nice. And then we've got the Decepticon logos in the silver. So, I mean, he looks phenomenal. I mean, and this is... So the same mold we've seen for Starscream and Skywarp and basically for uh, the cone heads, but this comes off really, really well, especially up here in the front where that air intake is. That blue and that silver right there looks amazing. Um, this guy's wing, uh, missiles uh, do fire, if I can, maybe, there it goes. So they do fire, uh, unlike my... Um, Oh, who was it? I just reviewed. Dirge. Uh, his missiles don't fire too well. So this guy fires really, really well. Um, but, I mean, he suffers from the, I have a gigantic piece of jet underneath with a big hole um, syndrome, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, it's that mold. So, I mean, that's, that's what we're going to get. Uh, I wish they would fix that. I really, really hate that. And there's no excuse for not fixing it. Um, it's just laziness, I think. But, uh, we also have his little, as usual, we have his little, uh, robot nipples, um, as his wheels, and then we have, uh, which is kind of cool, he's got landing gear, um, I think that is the landing gear. Yeah, the landing gear there, he doesn't have, no, nope, they don't have a, a drop down, which is unfortunate. So when they talk about landing gear in the box, it's it's this right here. Um, but yeah, looks pretty decent. I like it. I like the black jets in the back, the wings. Can't you can't go wrong with this mold. It looks awesome for the seekers, especially uh, the original seekers. So yep, there he is in jet mode. Let's take a look at this guy in robot mode. All right, so here we've got. Thundercracker in his robot mode. If you know how to transform one Seeker, you pretty much know how to transform them all. I will say this guy is very, very tight in the joints, especially in his body piece, but that's probably because he's very new. His wings seem a little flimsy, though, uh, which kind of scares me. I'm not going to transform him too terribly much because of that, I think. Um, you know, he looks really nice. I mean, great-looking detail. This guy's paint job is fantastic. Phenomenal. Love the detail at the bottom, the gray, the black boots. The blue plastic just looks amazing on this guy. We got the silver around his body, looks great. Silver up here on his air intakes, and then the little red triangles. Love the red on his arms there, it looks great. The blue intakes, and the, the, the red and blue down at the bottom. I mean, he looks phenomenal in robot mode. Just a great job. The only thing that is unfortunate is you cannot the Decepticon logos are present take one of these off where you can kind of see it right there um, I wish they would have put the Decepticon logos further out on the wing so that you could see them but we do have a nice itty bitty little Decepticon logo right above his chest piece there which kind of makes up for it I guess so you know which faction he is but you know all in all he looks really nice looks very cool um it's it's the same mold that we've seen over and over it's just the proper paint job for him which is which is fine that's all good um and then here he is with dirge also out of the same line 
two blue guys. Woo, we're the blue robot group. Woo. Um, so he's looking very cool, very neat, very nice. Now I will say the cone heads did get a uh, much more remold than these guys did with their wings and the cone head and all that kind of stuff. So, yep. But, I mean, he just looks, I think he looks better than Dirge. Of course, Dirge is my least favorite of the Seekers. But, yeah, there he is. Thundercracker. Looking nice. So I'll have to do some reviews on the other guys, and then I'm going to get them all together so we can see all the Generation Seekers in one lot. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it, and have a great weekend.